thank you for tuning in to Relationship Entertainment TV. I'm your host, Felicia Dorch, with the news you can use and an issue you don't want to miss. Happy Thursday, everyone. I wanted to bring you some positive, more positive news than what I gave you on Tuesday. You know, I had to do a recap on the doom and gloom, but I'm pretty sure things are going to get better. We have to always stay positive and believe that. So, you know, during this time and even before the COVID time, people were on social media. You know, um, you find out mostly everything that you need to know on social media. Uh, all I have to do is put a recommendation on Facebook to find any type of restaurant or and, and then people will start telling me different places that I can go to. And I remember a while back last year when um, we were doing this big campaign to, su to support small black owned businesses, there, they were on Facebook all over the place. You could go once someone had created an entire directory on Facebook. And I actually think I still have that saved on my phone where you can go and find a restaurant close to you and, and, you know, and go eat there, which was pretty awesome. But what I'm about to tell you now, you know, is really, really cool. You know, I thought being on Clubhouse was pretty cool, but this app that I'm finding out about, which is made by an African-American man, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. And I can't wait to be able to download it on my phone. So I wanted to share this with you. So it is called the, um, actually, and I'm so excited. They are Houston based entrepreneur launches melon, me, melanin people. Sorry. I can't get my words out. Melanin people, a new social media app for the black community. Okay. So nationwide melanin people is a social media app that aims to connect black and brown people within one convenient media network. The platform connects black people worldwide in worldwide to increase socioeconomic awareness and foster business and professional relationships. The app is designed in such a way that individuals, entrepreneurs, organizations can promote their brands to the community. That is pretty awesome. According to the CEO of the company, culture is one of the most vital tools and used to bring humans together. Melanin People recognizes the need to connect and welcome people from all professional backgrounds, including music, entertainment, medicine, fairing, fashion, engineering, and beyond. Although the app is all encompassing, users can easily narrow down the connection preferences by honing in on their specific field. So for an example, I'm a publisher, you know, so actually I'm going to find out, can I get my business on here? But I'm a publisher. So I would, uh, if I was going in to search for graphic artists, if I needed a new graphic artist, then I'm pretty sure that I can narrow it down to look for just African American or brown people, you know, graphic artists. The good thing about this app is that anyone can use the app, including non-blacks who love black community and want to support with positive energy. Upon downloading the Melanin People app, Users can create an account, personal or a business account, based on their preference and socioeconomical goal and instantly enjoy the membership benefits. With an interface comparable to other social networking platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and TikTok, communication is done through short form videos like 30 seconds max, pictures, magazines, podcasts, and private messaging. So it's pretty similar to the other apps and I'm pretty sure that you can um, have them interconnected. So for an example, when I go to post on my Facebook page or actually go post on my Instagram page, I have a opportunity or a, a selection button there where it says post here and Facebook. So then I don't have to go post on that one as well. The Melanin People app provides a platform for people of color to produce original content and have freedom of speech. In this particular season that we're in, expressions without restriction is vital. Future plans include providing a way for the users to monetize their content using tokens. Our goal is to reward our users, said Adinika, who is the CEO and founder of the company. We will be doing this through a monetization and token-based system in the second or third quarter of 2021. Small black businesses will be able to promote their products or services and get into the hands of more customers when their feature gets launched. We are fully aware that the majority of black and brown people all over the world use apps daily as content creators and get a little to nothing in return as monetary value. The Melanin People app is strategically positioning itself to revolutionize this. And I can, I can attest to that because I'm often, um, 
I get messages in my inbox on Instagram from different designers because I also model and they'll send me um, pieces of clothing or I'll have to, or if they want me to do an ambassador program, some of them won't send it to you first. They'll get you to sign up and maybe pay a percentage of the price and plus the shipping to get the um, clothing. And once you, some of them, once you pay that one time, the second piece of clothing or jewelry is free or you'll continue getting them at a discounted rate. So once I take a picture in these um, outfits or pieces of jewelry, I don't get any money from it, um, but I can get a percentage of the sale if some people on my Instagram go out and purchase from that place. As melanin people, our spending is projected to grow significantly in the years ahead, according to Nielsen, says CEO and founder. Since 2000, the African-American market has seen a 114% increase in buying power, which was estimated to be 1.3 trillion in 2018. In fact, the minority markets in the United States of America have a combined 3.9 trillion buying power, according to Newswise 2019. The CEO created Melanin People in response to the need for a singular digital meeting space for black and brown people. He envisioned an online community where people of color could, could socially interact while supporting each other's professional goals without restrictions. He comments, I wanted to hire a professional plumber for a big project that, and that ran into thousands of dollars and really desired to support a black owned business. Just because I'm aware that there's most black businesses do not have the same leverage as their counterparts. It was very difficult and challenging to find one. I did not find any despite looking for them on social media platforms. This is why it's very important for you to get out and promote your business on all your social media. When you open your social media plate, if you have a business, your social media should show your business. You should talk nothing but about your business to try to get your name out there for this very reason alone. It is, very, it is a very stressful activity to search everywhere on the internet for something that should be found easily in minutes. So a little bit about the founder. Melanin People at was founded by Adenika Adagoki, an engineer, certified scrum master, and accomplished business analysis. He earned a double master's in chemical engineering from the University of Rhode Island, USA, and a master's in petroleum technology from the University of to CD in Middlesbrough, UK. He completed his bachelor's degree from Ladoki and Katola University in Nigeria. And please forgive me if I am saying that wrong. But for um, other inquiries or other information, you can go on info at melaninpeople.com. But just to uh, recap on this, this is a very awesome idea, you know, to know that you can go into one space just like that directory that was placed on Facebook that someone, some random person took as many people as she could to put into a directory. So anytime that someone puts a reference out there, I'm looking for this or, or recommendation rather, then you're able to go right back to that directory, but it didn't stay on Facebook very long. So you know the reasons for that. So it's very important for you to always, you know, talk about your business, put yourself out there on all social media platforms, especially LinkedIn. I have been told that most of my publishing clients have found me on LinkedIn. Um, I would probably say more than 75% of my clients have found me on LinkedIn because that's more of a business type of uh, networking. Facebook is kind of, it, it kind of compiles everything, you know, family, friends, businesses, unless you are part of those business groups. And that's another thing you should do. Find out the groups that you can join. We have uh, some of them here in Houston for Houston Facebook, well, on Facebook for Houston, and you can join that business group and you can see everyone that's in that group and what they do because they're putting ads out, you know, they're talking about their business. I post ads almost daily, you know, to, so you can also, I've also gained clients from Instagram, just posting everything that I post on Instagram, I post on Facebook and then I post on LinkedIn. I have not gotten on TikTok yet, not sure I ever will, or Snapchat, unless it's gonna provide me with getting client, gaining clients. Um, another thing that I've noticed that if you go live, you know, get on there and talk about your business, talk about what you're doing and how you can help the community and what services you provide. 
And I definitely suggest that you look up Melanin People and get some more information on that to try to get your business listed in there as well. Because I really do love to go on to the directory and luckily I saved it because I can go and try new restaurants. I actually tried one here in Houston last Saturday for my birthday uh, with one of my brothers and it was extremely good. You know, it was really good food. So I definitely gave them five stars and gave a great review for that restaurant. But sounds like Melanin People is going to be the new thing to go to. Um, it kind of sounds like Angie's List, uh, but for us, you know, and that is wonderful. It's nothing wrong with Angie's List at all because I've used Angie's List several times and probably will continue to use it. But it just excites me that we have something where we can support each other, that we can put the money back into our community, back with our people. So I really hope this helped you. I hope you enjoyed that article. Um, and I will see you next week. I'm Felicia Dortch with the news you can use and the ish you don't want to miss. I'll see you Tuesday.